TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your uh, post notification bells, man. You know, birthday coming up in 18 days. Don't really got nothing planned, you know. You see the name, the lit one. My shit normally lit. Probably gonna be lit still, just last minute lit shit. <laughs> Uh, meeting London's Knife War Gang members. Rose Kemp living with blah, 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 blah. I don't know what the rest is. Um, let's get into it, though. I'm just really on here just seeing stuff that I want to look at. If y'all hear a baby Police cry, it's my daughter. for witnesses to the latest knife murder. The fifth fatal stabbing in a week of horror. The headlines are becoming all too familiar but no less shocking. According to one witness, the victim's parents were with him when he died. Knife tough. crime is on the rise. That's a real tough, man. Just imagine having kids and you watching your, and you like passing away before your children. Like, like just a natural thing to happen is the reverse, right? And people up and down the country are losing their lives in record numbers. 285 people were fatally stabbed in England and Wales last year. That's the highest number since records began. Now when the was communities. This? 2019, so 2018. That's a lot of people. Almost 300 people fatally stabbed. Like I said, that's always a different type of breed to even think about doing the face like with that. knife crime on a daily basis seem reluctant to talk about do what you got to do so then. I'm going to ask them why and try to find out if anything can be done to stop the killings no because violence begets violence you know what I'm saying so I started these, most of these are just revenge in London knife crime capital of the UK the Metropolitan Police deal with an average of wait what is it in London I started my journey in London, knife crime capital of the UK. The Metropolitan Police deal with an average of 40 blade-related offences every single day. And in the first four months of this year, there were more than 20 fatal stabbings here. I'm just about to go into a flat in South London and speak to four gang members who carry knives. The seriousness of his face, like, like this, this is a serious thing. Like, I'm not gonna. Let me say, let, let me rephrase that. T to me, it's like every day. Like, you know, this is the shit that we re that I react to every day. Like, I live in one of the most crime-ridden areas uh, in Chicago, of north at least. So, just to let y'all know, there's four areas of north. I mean, in Chicago, we all know this. There's a south side, which most of y'all know. Y'all think everybody in Chicago is supposed to look and sound like a south side nigga. That's why y'all be in my comments sounding like some goofies and some clown ass people sometimes. Like, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all be talking about. So, y'all think everybody's south side. But there's also out west. This, this is exactly how out south, out west, over east, and up north. I'm from up north. We, we a little bit more cultured up north. You know what I'm saying? We, we... Gentrification hit us first, so we adopt, we adapt, we uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We uh, we, damn, we uh, adapted, adopted. What's the word? Damn, I'm law. I can't even think of the word right now. We had to, we had to figure it out. We had to learn how to talk, so people wouldn't be scared of us. And you know, you know, that's why I talk this way. You know. It's years of uh, of being able to blend. That's what I'm saying. You got to blend when you from the north side to be able to make money in any situation, from the, from jobs to everything. Like you got to be able to blend. So get out my comments talking that stupid shit that y'all don't even know about. Like nine, nine times out of ten. I st I'm still from this motherfucker. I'll let that bitch rip if we need to. I can get where I need to get to. But, like, stop saying that ignorant shit in my comments. That should be dumb as hell. Y'all don't know that. <laughs> I didn't know their identities, but I was told they were all under... And that's not the people that's... 
obviously TLO followers, subscribers. That's just ignorant, hating people. The age of 21. Thanks for agreeing to talk to us, guys. The youngest was just 15. Got to ask you guys, why are so many young people carrying knives now? Some people don't even have a choice. People want to live. That person has to carry a knife to protect himself from other people trying to come to him. You get me? So it's about protection. Yeah, of course, man. How young were you when you started carrying? 13. 13. 13, same age. Have any of you ever been attacked? Yeah, I've been attacked. Yeah. How does it happen? You can be in a certain area, wrong place, wrong time. Is it over drugs? A lot of it's over drugs, but then nowadays it's just silly you trying to have a problem with you over nothing. Why has it got so bad? Facts. I think mainly social media, so Snapchat, Instagram, certain people Facts. say things and it just escalates the situation. Now everyone thinks it's fashion to be carrying a knife. So are any carrying knives now? Yeah, we've all got something on us for real, for real. Can I have a look? Can I ask a question? Where did that come from? <laughs> it's you kitchen. can get it online, you can get that anywhere. I can get it around the anywhere. corner. One phone call. Can I touch it? Target? Man, are knives not as accessible out there or something? Like, I can literally go to the corner store and get a knife right now. Like, any jewel, Target, I don't know if y'all know these. These are department stores. They carry these. It, obviously, because knife grind is so high out there, they, it, they can't be that accessible. Go ahead. Wow. Look, oh, he, he got, that he got something. You know that, that is designed for one thing and one thing only. That's not for use in the kitchen, right? No, nah, that ain't no kitchen right there. That's a Rambo. He... Have any of you had friends who have either been stabbed or killed? Yeah. How many fatally? Three. So you know three young people have lost their lives. And you still carry knives. Yes, yes. Even more reason to... Yes, I'm not promoting this, but, like, makes sense. Process this in your head. I've seen me... I'm the, this man has seen three people lose their life to a knife. What make you think he want to be the fourth one? Yeah, I seen three people use their life. They was probably lacking. They ain't have one on them. Yeah, I'm, I'm finna start carrying one too. I'm not lacking. Simple as that. In my neighborhood. So, this ain't your neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. I seen three people lose their shit from this stuff. So, yeah. It makes sense. I've got to protect myself. It's so hard out there. Uh, when you think of it, it's hard. But also, not every young person carries enough, do they? Some people choose not to. Yeah. yeah. We're not out to kill civilians. Those people That's are fast. Yeah? yeah. So, is it a war then? There's definitely opposite sides. People are dying. So it's a war, isn't it? Talk about it. It seems <laughs> like a catch shot. 22. These young men it say is. if they don't carry knives, they could end up dead. But if they get caught carrying them, they could receive up to four years in prison. But it's not just kids in our biggest cities who are arming themselves with blades. Stereotypically, knife crime has been associated with a certain color skin on estates in London. But knife crime is growing faster outside of the capital than it is within it. And it's not just black kids, it's white kids, it's Asian kids. And it's not just happening on estates, it's happening in the suburbs. I oh, man was so shocked when he said that, like, so you seen three of your friends carry nice, lose their life tonight, so you, and you still do? Yeah! That's even more of a reason now. I seen three of my closest people lose their lives to knives. And like I said earlier, probably because they weren't carrying themselves. So to defend myself, I got to do what I got to do at the end of the day, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm out of here.